Hey, Mr. Clash here with an NDL War recap for Spider Legion in the Amateur Division of the No Dip League. NDL stands for No Dip League, No Dipping. 10 all 10s hit 10s and up, 11s hit 11s and up, 12s hit 12s and 9s hit 9s and up. So if the 9s clear everything, they do scout attacks. Okay, so as you can see, Spider Legion had a bit of a win, 68 to 63. Okay, before we get into the attacks themselves, quick six-pack shout-outs. Town Hall 11 six-pack to Lou. Town Hall 10 six-pack to Heap Gar. And Town Hall 9 six-packs to Fire Fury, Lieutenant Dan, Quee Quee, One-Eye Cyclops, and Sam. So, let's get into the attacks. After the attacks, we'll have a look at the specs, the stats, not the specs, the statistics, not the specifications. Okay, look at the hogs, 27 hogs coming in. So, a bit of a bowler slash hog attack, maxed uh, attacker, obviously, a couple of free spells, four heals and a rage. So I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if the uh, all the heals are going to get used on the hogs, or at least three of them will. Second free spell goes down, get the Valks in. Of course, the Valks came out of the clan cut, out of the uh, siege machine, and that's pretty well standard siege machine composition. We're seeing this at Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 10, especially at Town Hall 10, just taking in four Valks and three Barbs. You'd have to say it's probably the best, uh, most versatile siege machine composition. It can uh, help gut a little bit of a core and provide a little bit of tanking for your other troops. So pretty well. Nearly all the hogs going in. 11 more hogs to go. Here we go. All those second hogs, come, second lot of hogs coming in onto the archer at the bottom. Then onto the Inferno Tower. Bit of a heal spell there. Obviously not healing through the Inferno Strain, but uh, there's a lot of damage in the area anyway. Heal through that. Three more heal spells. So it looks like all the heal spells are going to get used on the hogs. Eagle Artillery still up. Eagle Artillery just went down. Queen's Ability just phased right now. Uh, that Expo's gone down. So you can see without that stuff around there, the hogs just have to path around. Troll Tesla in the right hand corner. This was a fresh hit, by the way. It was a fresh hit, so didn't know where any of the Teslas or anything were. Masses, massive amount of hogs left. That's what I note from this. Yeah, you do lose some to some spring traps, and uh, they do have to deal with the king, giving them a little bit of a whack. Uh, take out a few hogs. A couple of goblins and an archer left for cleanup. Obviously, well, let's see. I'd put the goblin up here. After the hogs just run away, we'll see if that's actually what happens. If uh, he drops a goblin up there, don't know where he's going to drop a couple of goblins. Of course, uh, there we go. Yeah, a couple of goblins up there while the hogs are at the other end of the base. Wizards pathing around the bottom side. So it'll just be interesting to see how the king goes down. Uh, even if the king is actually ends up being the last thing to go down, such as if they target the king's pad before they actually target the king, that'll be interesting. And uh, it looks like king's going over to the goblins and the archer will just take out that uh, oh will the king go down or not no no the king didn't even go down haha <laughs> got the pad down first okay let's have a look at uh, two ten or ten attacks as you can see bow witch coming in with one free spell a bow witch with the free spell and you can pretty well tell if you're going to bring the siege machine in it's got to come opposite to the Town Hall in some way, shape or form. So the Siege Machine is probably going to enter around here somewhere so it can path across. That's just guessing. You're <laughs> you're either going to come in from here or around on this side, aren't you, with the Siege Machine? Because you, you're going to use the Siege Machine to punch a bit of a hole in the wall. Golem there, big big bomb went off, a couple of Teslas. Nice little ring of confidence with the bowlers and the witches pathing around the outside. And Siege Machine coming in at a little bit of an angle going for the Town Hall. Heroes. What's the king going to do? Is he going to go wandering? Or is he going to come into the hole? No, they're all going into the hole now. Got to rage. Get the freeze on that siege on the um, Inferno Tower that was almost going to detonate the siege machine. Enemy Queen, she's um, she's involved in things. The siege, allowing the siege machine to punch through a little bit more. Of course, that Inferno Tower is locked onto the siege machine now. So those Valkyries will go down a little bit. And now the Inferno has locked onto the Queen. So he's going to have to phase the Queen. And then that jump spell, just perfect to get those Valkyries just, and everybody coming over, that was the most perfect jump spell. It was a really well done jump spell. Bowlers 
throwing their rocks at a few little walls on the right hand side. Queen now over in the middle, she's going to take out the wizard and the archer and you've just got a couple of things down on this side here at the bottom. Double bounce from the bowler should help take out a few things down there. See if that Tesla goes down. No, couldn't quite get it. King raised through the hole, uh, punched a hole through the wall. So he should be able to get the cannon, I think, before. Yep, that's it. So cannon's gone down. Mortar's still up. Queen is shooting walls. Let's see if she actually sticks with that wall. Okay. <laughs> Let's not. She did something smart. She took a jump spell. Goodness gracious me, she took a jump spell. I did see an attack where the Queen was standing on the edge of a jump spell shooting a wall it's like you've got to be kidding and she, and when she shot the wall she just went and shot the thing she could have shot if she'd actually taken the jump spell so anyway let's have a look at the next town hall 10 attack and for a little bit of difference coming in with a hog attack eight bowlers again with all of these sorts of three star town hall 10 attacks that you see in these recaps take note of the troop combos and then make them up and have a go with them in your own clan Especially, for instance, you've seen this, this troop combo is working, going to work on this ring base. It's less than a two minute attack, as you can see now, minute 45, and the main part of the attack hasn't even launched yet. Uh, external queen, probably not the greatest idea, and in retrospect, uh, with the siege machine, it's probably not a great idea to put the town hall in the middle of the base either. Because it just means with the siege machine that you can just pick and choose whichever angle you want to come in at uh, for the base. So if you want to take out the queen like you've done here, just coming in, take out the queen. And of course the infernos are on multi-stream, so they're going to do bugger all damage to the siege machine. The siege machine will release the Valkyries, and again we've got Valkyries. Throw a heal spell on the Valkyries, and now here come the hogs. And here come all the hogs. So <laughs> just get them all in. So Valkyries will take out the both Infernos on multi in the middle. Not going to, those multi uh, Infernos weren't really going to be a threat. Valkyries now pathing around to the second ring while the hogs are coming out across the bottom. King's trying to beat a hole through the wall. Uh, where's the queen? She's gone up the top there. She's going to take out a few things. Hogs are going flying to spring traps. Two more heal spells left to go. Massive amount of hogs. Obviously, this base is wrecked. You knew, you knew it was already wrecked. As soon as you see a 10 or 10 attack that's under two minutes, uh, you've got a fair idea that it's a pretty devastating. Look, the king has changed walls now. He's decided he didn't like shooting that other wall. He's changed walls. The queen has gone down. She must have been taken out by something or other, probably an archer or something up there. I wasn't really paying too much attention, to be honest. I was just looking at the bottom to see what the king was doing, just bashing on a few different walls. He's really doing nothing much. He's uh, pretty useless for the rest of the attack. And look at that. Drop the swag, poison, and swag, heal spell. And that's it. Game over for that ring base. Obviously, with the siege machine being able to hit ring bases, it's probably a little bit easier than it was. Let's have a look at the Town Hall 9s now. Alrighty, as you can see by the troops here, looks like we've got a Queen Walk uh, Laloon. Queen Walk, walk Laloon. I'm pretty sure i don't think there's bowlers in the middle i think it's just a queen walk and uh, i think we've got a hound in the middle for this one when the queen goes down there we go you've got some archers already taking out a little bit of trash on the outside there very smart thing to do last thing you want to do is have all your balloons piled up over here no minions and then the balloons have to path around and then get over to the corner to take out a pesky little builder's hut that you could have just done by dropping an archer so Archer's done, Queen, enemy Queen's gone down. Rage spell on the attacking Queen. She'll take out a few weapons. She'll start to path around. And I don't think he waits until he's gotten a, an air defense down. He might get this air defense down. Uh, I guess we'll see. He's got a giant. He's brought a giant. That's a really interesting choice. Uh, instead of, say, maybe an extra balloon. I'm sure there's a reason for the giant. Maybe there's um, something we don't know about. Is there a little troll Tesla? Looks like there was a troll, something at the bottom. Oh, no, no. That was looks like a, another little uh, builder's hut that was down there. I think it was uh, four builder's huts. don't know where the fifth one is, I think. So, anyway, who cares? Poison on the clan castle troops. And here we go. Giant down there. That was it. Get the giant in to distract the wall breakers so you can get the king in so the king can take out this air defense down here. Very smart thinking on the attacker's part. So two air defences down. King will rage in a second, and here we go. Balloons coming in. 
Uh, we've got one more rage and three haste to get the balloons in. Obviously get the haste in of the balloons where there's a big threat to them, such as the wizard tower. Another haste onto the other air defense. And here comes the clan castle hound with uh, one more haste left up the sleeve. And of course the rage that was used up there on the expo at the top. And this base is getting pulverized. Obviously the balloons just once they're in that haste spell and they just take off. It's like woo, they just take off really, really fast, decimating this base. Bringing nice lot of minions to bring that as extra cleanup, of course, because you can't rely on your pups. If the pups don't pop, like you've seen here, here's a hand that hasn't popped. So you'd only have a few little pups. And of course, you can see now why it was smart to have the archer, even though there was plenty of time. Now what would happen is now everything would have to path over here. But uh, because the archer took it out, and the archer took out the one at the bottom as well, no need for that. Okay, lovely little attack from Night Fury. So let's go have a look at the last town, town or nine attack and last attack of the war. Okay, now I said I wasn't going to show any witch attacks in these uh, recaps, and I did try to do that. However, there's I don't have anything other to show you other than witch attacks. So what I've done is I've picked the fastest witch attack of the people that got a six pack. There was a faster witch attack than this, but that person didn't get a six pack. So just to give a little bit of kudos to the six pack getters, the fastest attack from them. So let's get the ball rolling. As you can see, my favorite witch combo, three jump, one rage, one poison, one skelly spell. So golem's coming in at the bottom and we're going to have another little golem. I like the deployment of the witches on this one. Nice little sort of almost a semicircle of witches just to make sure that skeletons do go to each of those things instead of just piling all witches in one heap. That way witches skeletons went to each of those trash items to make sure that they got removed. Jump spell down. Now the next golem can come down. Always, you know, it can be a really good idea just to keep that third golem up your sleeve just in case something nasty pops that you might need to quickly just grab that golem down. Now keep an eye on this king up here. He's going to try and deal with these witches and the skellies and the wizards. He's just got no hope at all. And down he goes. So second jump's now been deployed. Skeleton spell left. Third jump's down. So that gets all the access all the way through the base. Queen's going to take that jump in a second. Three witches on the right hand side. Four witches on the right hand side. Plenty of skellies with a wizzy to help back them up. Queen will take out this wizard tower on the left. Right hand side, wizzies and skelly. Uh, witches, Wiz and Skellies, they take out that archer up there. King's going to beat a wall for a little bit till the bowlers get through. Queen's actually being smart this one. She's taking a couple of jump spells. So uh, she might be finally learning. Getting her to logic school looks like it's paid off. Now she's got an IQ of 30 apparently. Level 30 Queen, I'm pretty sure it means IQ. Oh look, there she goes. She's shooting a wall. What is an attack without the Queen shooting a wall? Of course she has to shoot a wall. She's not happy unless she can shoot at least one wall. And in this case, she actually did the smart thing and helped shoot a wall that was already getting hit and destroyed by the king and the bowlers. And that's it. Witches for the three star. Okay, let's have a look at the statistics. And then we'll call it recap done. War stats. 49 attacks used. Uh, the other team didn't bother with the last two Town Hall 12 attacks because they couldn't have won. So unfortunately they didn't get practice in either. And I think our Town Hall 12 that we had in this one um, had connection issues. That's what it looked like to me. Connection issues couldn't get back on to attack. So four attacks lost. These things are usually scout attacks at this point. All the Town Hall 9s going down pretty smartly. 19 three stars. To 15, 5, 2 stars to 9, obviously 1, 1 star that was on the Town Hall 12. 1.39 new stars per attack versus 1.3, 95.3% average destruction. But as you can see up there, that's rounded up because it's 95.28. Uh, this is average destruction, and that one says 95.8. Oh, okay, so that's average destruction, I guess, somehow. I don't know how that works out considering the destruction is 91.96, but um, yeah, okay, whatever. 
obviously a little bit of a quirky thing going on there with the uh, destruction percentage. Usually they should match. So I've got 95.28 versus 91.96. Unless they just count the uh, a base that wasn't attacked or something. Not really sure. Just a little bit puzzling, a little bit of a quirky thing. So there we go. Spider Legion defeated Storge. 68-63 in the No Dip League NDL Amateur Division. That's it for this video. Leave the video a thumb up, share it with your clan mates so they can possibly learn from some of the attacks that you've seen here. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.